This is what happens when you crack your thermal paste, at least partly. So have to uh, like heat up uh, like to a minus 15 or minus 20 on the card or the GPU pot for the thermal paste to resettle and uh, then we will just go back cold. If you wonder what I have here, so this is measuring the uh, 0.95 volt rail which is the same thing as on uh, 290X so that gets rid of the uh, black screen uh, flickering and so on and it also improves the stability a little bit and here's the actual modification for it so I'm just using a volt trimmer or trim pot or potentiometer on that yeah so now I'll try Vantage and that is the uh, 3D Mark Vantage Re 7970 record with a score of 72,036 with a graphics score of uh, 66,364 and 96,876 on the CPU. So this is quite funny, so uh, this beats the original Titan as well as the uh, GDX 680 by a huge margin. So uh, it's very nice, so I ran the card at 1730 uh, on the core and uh, 18 uh, 1850 on the memory so yeah very very nice result <laughs> so yeah and that's the uh, 7970 uh, 3d mark 11 record by huge margin from my previous score like all 2000 points at look at that bang 1800 core clock 1830 mem boom minus 140 1.65 volts on the card just 5.8 because I have a uh, some serious issues with my uh, CPU, etc. But it's enough for this. So, uh, considering that my weekend hasn't gone so well, this is absolutely amazing. And now it's even improved. I mean, it's improved even more. So, uh, 24,818 at 1820. 1820. Uh, 1890 on the memory, so that's absolutely ridiculous. It's fastest 7970 by far ever. The fastest, like in terms of core clock, was uh, 1800, but that was uh, demoed by MSI themselves, by Elmo, like uh, in 2012. So this is the fastest 7970 definitely for 3D Mark 11. All right, so I just cracked, so I will stop this. Uh, this uh, I will stop this session and then just try again next time with more LM2 but yeah the card is absolutely insane so I was actually even close on passing 1870 megahertz core in 3D 11 I passed uh, at 1850 but the score was like 16 points away from uh, uh, 25,000 of course if I had the correct CPU speed at really I mean at really high it would have gone up over that very very easily but yeah so uh, I have a thermal paste crack around like between minus 145 and minus 155 so if I can get past that the card will surely do 1900 megahertz core in 3D Mark 11 it's absolutely ridiculous seriously so yeah the uh, memory yeah even with the uh, even with the uh, custom BIOS so uh, if you read GPU-Z and uh, go to the uh, BIOS line in GPU-Z you can see uh, my and build solid name. So uh, this uh, uh, this BIOS has uh, this BIOS has uh, overcurrent overcurrent protection uh, removed. So uh, uh, and contrary to the popular belief, so uh, just using the GPU reactor behind the card or behind the GPU, like I'm using here. That is actually not enough to remove the uh, OCP on the card. So you have to use that, yes, and you all, you'll also gain like slightly, like a, a small bit uh, from it in terms of uh, core clock. But uh, in order to get the overcurrent protection fully removed, you have to use both the uh, GPU reactor and you have to modify the bars to uh, disable uh, the OCP at the Jill uh, PWM controller. So that's them. and then also on this bus, as I said at the start, so this has some uh, fine tunes at the memory timing. So this has a bit tighter profile than what the card has at stock out of the box. But yeah, 
So uh, 1850 core, very nice. I got the uh, Freedom Mark 11 record by huge margin. Of course, it was me previously, and then I got Vantage again. The first ever 70,000 plus, or well over 70,000 for 7970. Uh, there, I'm losing the most because of uh, uh, bad CPU speed, because CPU speed really helps the graphics score as well in 3D Mark Vantage. 3D Mark 3 I got 215k, so that is very nice, but yeah, still uh, losing quite a lot due to low CPU speed. Then I got Five Strike normal score top score and fire strike extreme fire strike extreme i got barely because i'm using a bad operating system for the test so one should not use windows 7 for that test i'll try try it but i cannot run it in uh, windows 7 and i don't have uh, other os set up for now but yeah so i'm mostly interested in free map 11 that's the uh, one of those tests that I really used at the start when I was a newbie. I want to see that 1900 megahertz core in that test, but yeah, I need to test both uh, like dried KPX and cryonaut liquid helium edition, but I will see about that. So I'm sure I can get it colder. It always cracks at idle, either at just idle or straight after bench if you, if you crash. So uh, I need to work on that, but yeah, I'm absolutely sure now that 1900 is possible on this particular uh, graphics card. So uh, there it is. So uh, that's the end of this session. So uh, if you like to see this course, I know it's very annoying that I cannot like film when I'm running the actual test, but it's very, very hard. I need to figure out some uh, better like on-screen uh, capture card or something. But yeah, so if you like to see this course, if you like them, then uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and, I'll, and I will see you next time.